Five months since the conservative majority in the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, ending the constitutional right to an abortion in this country, Republicans are facing the aftermath. They are seeing their position, which is that abortion should be outlawed or criminalized, rejected over and over from coast to coast. The backlash began just weeks after that decision came down at the end of June. And Kansas voters overwhelmingly rejected an amendment to their state constitution that would have allowed the legislature to ban abortion. That vote was 59 to 41 in a very red state, and it sent shockwaves through the Republican Party. This month, abortion rights were on the ballot in several more states, California, Montana, Michigan, Kentucky, and Vermont. And it was a clean sweep for reproductive rights in all five states. Now, abortion rights activists in other states want to follow suit with their own ballot measures, including in Ohio, where a current so-called heartbeat ban went into effect the same day Roe was overturned. The executive director of Prochos Ohio says of the proposed ballot initiative, quote, it's a when, it's not an if. Now, Republicans in the state of Ohio, again, conservative state, state that Trump won by eight points, are obviously worried about putting their deeply unpopular position on abortion up for a vote to the people. So they are trying to make it harder for the other side to win. Secretary of State Frank LaRose and Republican Representative Brian Stewart are proposing what they call the Ohio Constitution Protection Amendment. The amendment would make it so a citizen-initiated constitutional amendment on any ballot would have to pass by 60% of the vote, rather than the current simple majority. If you don't think that your idea is broadly popular enough to muster 60% vote of the people, then, then maybe you should uh, not consider bringing it to the ballot. Now, okay, you're like, you're tracking this, right? Pro-choice activists say we want to put a ballot initiative constitutional amendment on the state. It's happened in other states. The Republican Secretary of State, Frank LaRose, says, you know what I've been thinking? Let's make it harder to pass one of those. Now, LaRose claims the proposal has no connection at all to any potential ballot measure on abortion. But he wants to put the amendment up for a vote during the primary in May, likely before an abortion initiative would make it onto the ballot. And here's the best part of this. Their own plan to make it harder to pass future constitutional amendments would require just a simple majority to pass. So if you can get 50 plus one, maybe you can stop the people of Ohio from actually governing themselves where abortion is concerned, which is the point. It is all very transparent. But Ohio Republicans are certainly not the only ones who understand they are on the wrong side of this issue. They will not say what they really think. The man who ultimately delivered that Supreme Court decision on abortion the criminalization banning of abortion in 13 states, the possibility of a national abortion ban. Donald Trump, that man, will not say a word about it now that he's back on the presidential campaign trail. That's next.